Street dawah is a very good approach to dawah, especially uh, by our Muslim brothers. But how can we justify that street dawah is also appropriate for sisters without being exposed to fitna? Believe me, sisters, the brothers are exposed to fitna. In fact, if anyone was sitting with me at dinner last night, you can understand how, how difficult it is for some of the brothers to give dawah. Okay? So, uh, you know, uh, there's fitna for all of us. Brothers have fitna, sisters have fitna. So it, it's a perfectly good case to argue that if we have some sisters on the street giving dawah, especially I think it would be easier here uh, in Kuwait, that you can ask the ladies to talk to the ladies. Yeah, why not? This is the best thing to do. Actually, in England, it's a bit more difficult because there is a real chance of sisters of violence, you know, of people attacking the sisters or some drunks or people not respecting, you know, not respecting them. The chance of that in Kuwait is very little. So actually, it would be great for the sisters here. Uh, you know, and I, I, I know there's, uh, you know, there's a body of fatawa that if, especially if the sisters are wearing niqab, this is considered talking behind a veil. It's permissible. You know, you can discuss and you have to remember in our tradition, in our civilization, until now you can go to the market. The, the ladies go to the market. They go shopping. They go and buy things. They interact with, other, with non-mahram men the whole time. And this is something I find very strange. It's like, so is it okay for your wife to go shopping and buy things from strange men, but it's not okay for her to talk about Islam? Why? On what basis? You send your daughters to university to learn about biomechanical engineering, computer science, and I don't know, whatever, something else, become doctors, but they can't talk to people about Islam? Why? How, how do you... Where do you, do you see what I mean about the way we think about Islam? It's like Islam is like we put on our hat, we come in the mosque, we take off the hat, and then Islam is gone. It's not holistic. It's not part of our, the reality of our life. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, so, sister, there are fit, there's fitna for brothers and sisters. Actually, it would be very good if the sisters got involved in the street dawah and they talked to the women. This would be better. It will help the brothers. They need the help, believe me. Inshallah. We all need it. We all need the help. Alhamdulillah. Huh? Man cannot make a woman, right? No, they can. It depends. You know, I, it depends on the situation. If you're going to university and your professor is a woman, you're not going, if you don't turn up to the lessons, you will not uh, learn anything. So can he? Yes, he can. The Prophet wasallam talked to women. He taught them. So yes, it's possible. But like all things, we have to lower our gaze and observe the Islamic manners, inshallah. That's the most important thing. Jazakallah khair. Subhanakallahumma bihamdaka shadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfirullah.